And now, everyone's favorite pop culture game show, Funko's Pop Quiz! With your host, Fun Maker Mike! Hey! Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Season two of Pop Quiz. I'm going to be your guest host today, Fun Maker Mike. Remember, season two is full of fun. You know why? Because you, that's right, you, the viewer, get to play along with our contestants. Let's meet those contestants now. Justin. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? Tell us a little about yourself. I'm Justin. I'm from Torrance, California. I love cooking, uh, sports, anime, and just everything about Funko. Wow. Like you were made for the show. Tell us about your favorite pop. Uh, I brought Kobe today. Um, he was one of my favorite basketball players, and uh, he brought a lot of inspiration to me. Um, he was just a hard worker, so felt like he could bring me uh, that possible good luck. All right, Justin, good luck. Welcome to the show. Ashley, Hello. or should I say April O'Neil? That's right. Tell us about yourself. Um, well, I'm originally from Pocatello, Idaho, oh. and now I live here in San Diego, California. And um, I'm also uh, an owner of four cats. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and of course your favorite pop. Yes. We all knew that was coming. Okay, well, welcome, Ashley. All right, Hector. How's it going, Mike? Great. Tell us about yourself, Hector. I'm originally from uh, San Miguel de Allende, Mexico, and I actually reside in Long Beach, California. I've uh, been collecting Funko Pops for 10 years now, and my favorite pop is actually Wolverine. He's been my favorite character of the X-Men for many, many years. You ever been to that Long Beach uh, swap meet? Yes. That's a good one, huh? Yeah. I just went there myself. I love Long Beach. Yeah, you've met the contestants. Let's see our categories. We have Simply Marvelous, Name Games, Journeys Abound, Nine and Three Quarters. Nine and Three Quarters. And remember, this was Game Names, right? I like to reverse things just for fun to see if you're paying attention. Okay, yeah, that's right, Flipper. Okay, so here we go. Are we ready to play? Guess who won the coin toss backstage? It was you, Justin. Yes. So what category would you like to start off with first? Um, let's start with Journeys Abound, Mike, please. All right, here we go. Everybody at home, get ready. Oh, look at right away. The oh, gold giveaway. giveaway. Do you understand how this thing is going to work? <laughs> you are going to get this or any of the other contestants if you get this question correct. This wonderful Russell Wilson gold figure. So here we go. Everybody ready? In the movie Lord of the Rings, where does Frodo Baggins travel to to destroy the ring? Yes, Hector. Mordor. Mordor. That's right, Mordor. Here you go. Look at that. You're winning already. You've got the 100 points. Would you like to double or nothing, Hector? Double yes, sir. or nothing. Dorothy and her friends followed the yellow brick road to what city? Uh, Emerald City. That's right. Ashley, you weren't quite playing there, I know, but, I know. but I got thanks too for excited. trying. You never know. Okay, you got that double or nothing question correct. You're off to a heck of a start here. Let's go ahead and go with Simply Marvelous for a 100. All right. There we go. Simply Marvelous. In Fantastic Four, who is considered their main villain? Hector. Dr. Doom. That's correct. All right, Hector, you've got a commanding lead now. You've got 300. Do you want to double or nothing? Double or um, nothing. You know what? When in Rome, let's go. In Fantastic Four, Ben Grimm transformed into what character? The Thing. That's correct. Wow, look at this guy go. All right, sir, you control the board. Let's continue Simply Marvelous for 200. Oh, secret the secret soda. soda. Look at that. You got a secret soda? There's a good chance this is an AP, and there's a good chance there's a chase in there, so contestants, be ready. All right, here we go. Thor replaced his hammer with an axe. What was the name of that axe? Stormbreaker. Oh, come on. Everybody knows that. Yep. So you will not get this prize. It'll go back over to here. Okay, you still control, Hector. Uh, let's finish up the category for 300, Simply Marvelous. All right. Billy Crystal's favorite category, Marvelous. Here we go, folks. Which Infinity Stone is found inside the Tesseract? Ashley. What is the Mind Stone? 
No. Anyone else, Hector? What is a soul stone? No! Oh, I know Justin, what it is. would you care to guess? Time stone? No! I do it's, know what it is. It's, space it's the space stone. You know how I know that? Right here, it says it. <laughs> All right, Hector, you still control the board? Let's start off games and names uh, for 100. All right, here we go. Games and names. In this board game, one of the game pieces is an iron. Yes, Hector. Uh, Monopoly. That's correct. All right, Hector, you've got a commanding lead there. Now with 500 points, would you like to double or nothing? Double or nothing. Um, sure. Okay. This card game is also a number in a foreign language. Uno. Yes. Look at this guy go. All right, Hector, look at you. Justin, you have yet to get on the board. Ashley. Hector, what do you got there? Game 600. names for 200. All right, here we go. This game has a naked man on the game board. Yes, Ashley. What is operation? That is correct. You're on there. You've got 200. Would you like to double or nothing? Double I mean, or nothing. I just barely got on the board. I, I know, but look, you'd only be 200 behind uh, uh, Hector there. I'm going to say no. Okay, your decision. You control the board. Go ahead, Ashley. I'm going to do nine and three quarters for 100. All right. Here we go. What is Harry's position on the Quidditch team? Yes, Ashley. Seeker. Seeker is correct. There's another 100. Now you're at three. Would you like to double or nothing? Double yes. Oh, I have a sense that this is your category. Here we go. Who is the half-blood prince? That would be Severus Snape. Yes, there you go. All right, Ashley, you control now. Uh, I will do uh, nine and three quarters for 200. All right. Silhouette, get over here. Come on over here, Ashley. We're gonna play Silhouette. Here's how it works. You have okay. one minute. You have up to 10 Silhouettes. You only have to get five correct. Okay. If you do that, you get automatically double points. All right. This is a big one. Are you ready? Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Are you set? Mm -hmm. Then let's go. Uh, Porky Pig? No. no. Uh, that looks like a uh, Wolverine. Yes, you've got one. Dobby. Yes, you've got two. Uh, Michonne from Walking Dead? Yes, that's three. Uh, Edward Scissor Vans. Yeah, you got four, you only need one more. Uh, Splinter? No, <gasps> you got plenty of time though. Uh, ooh, pass. Uh, uh, Harley Quinn. You've got five. You've already got it. Keep going for fun. Uh, uh, um, oh, uh, Johnny Storm. Uh, all right. Close. Uh, Genie. Yep, you got six, and you did great. All right. There you go. Six. She gets double the points, and that would bring her to 800. Wow. Wow, Justin with zero, just slightly behind. Ashley, 800. Hector, 600. However, it's still anybody's game. Lots of categories, lots of points still on the board. Ashley, you did well there. You control the board, please. Oh, uh, well, let's finish out nine and three quarters to 300. All right, this is a big one, folks. Get ready. What does Harry give Dobby to set him free? Yes, Ashley. Sock. Yes, wow, 300 more. Look at her go. Would you like to double or nothing? Or yes. Not. Why not? Why not, she says. What does Scabers the rat turn out to be? Yes. Oh, I didn't have to listen. Uh, Peter Pettigrew. That's it. All right. Look at this. We have three questions left on the board. You're at 1,400. Ashley, next category, please. Let's go with Journeys Abound for 200. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Harold and Kumar worked up quite an appetite during their shenanigans. Yes, Hector. White Castle. Hey, look at that. Wow. Didn't even finish it. All right, Hector. That just gave you a couple hundred more points. Now you're at, what, 800? Okay, would you like to double or nothing? Double or nothing. Uh, no, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Remember, the contestant with the most points wins the game. All right, let's go it. Um, all right, here we go. 
In the movie Labyrinth, where is the smelliest place in all of the land? No idea. The bog of eternal stench. I don't know why you were doubling there. I would have played Try to catch up to April O'Neil. All right, Hector, what do you want to do? Let's do game names for 300. All right, this is a big one. And guess what? We got a pop prize. Woo! You understand how that works, of course. If Ooh. the contestant that gets this correct, we'll get this wonderful pop prize. Look at this, honey. Oh, Venom, this is wonderful. Here we go, folks. This game allows you to communicate with the dead. Yes, Hector. Oh. Anyone else? Oh, I know it. I know it's there. Yes, Ashley. Was a Ouija. Yes. <laughs> right there. Wow. Way to pull that one out, Ashley. Would you now with that lead? Would you like to double or nothing? Double or nothing. No. Uh, wise, wise, wise choice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm giving you this wonderful Woo! pop prize. There you go. Look at that. Okay, we have one and one question only, folks. It's going to be, could ultimately be worth quite a few points. And look what happened. We got a proto. A proto. A okay, off. Look at that. In, we have a mystery proto. You're going to want to win this no matter what. Even you, Justin. Yes. This could be the big one for you. Here we go. In 1985's Pee-wee's Big Adventure, where did Pee-wee believe his bike to be hidden? Hector. I'm gonna guess and go with Big Mama's house. <laughs> no, anyone else? Yes, Justin. Say so yeah, it's work. Yeah, a dinosaur place? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I keep the proto. Ashley! You won! Come on out here. You're our big winner today on Pop Quiz. Come on, take front and center. Congratulations. I will see you in our semi. All right. All right, way to go. Come on out here, everybody. Let's dance it out. Today's contestants will receive a prize package with an assortment of Funko products. Pretty nifty. That was another episode of Pop Quiz. Ashley dominated today. Wait till you see what she does in the semis. This is your friend, Funmaker Mike. See you next week. We'll see you next time on Funko Pop Quiz.